Hello my dear friends and welcome to another marine engineering video by Adventure Story Channel my dear friends Today we will continue to see our engine room and we will see also some preparations, some checks that we are doing It is really really nice to see together the pictures and to discuss about all the details First of all, I'd like to thank you that you continue to subscribe and also you uh, you are the heart of this channel I really really appreciate and also I like your questions your questions it's really really big uh, thing for me and I will try to answer for all of them as much I will share the information and I will confirm that is true don't forget to check also the previous videos don't forget to check the simulation videos and let's start here, my dear friends, we can see uh, the emergency escape trunk. Uh, emergency escape trunk must have a uh, light always and also have this uh, safety uh, rope, which is a wire rope, uh, can stand also fire for some minutes. And also done, we have uh, the harness in case that we need to evacuate uh, some person from down below this uh, ladder this emergency escape trunk uh, comes from third engine room third, third floor of engine room and goes close to the steering gear and back of the boilers area there is also some emergency lighting here in case that we are using emergency uh, power supply and always it's good to check that there is light because inspectors also check uh, that condition so we have also in all the entrances here we have the identification of the room and let's move on to see also here we have uh, a remote control of uh, winches on the aft of the winches and also uh, there is a sign which shows where our emergency fire pump located also we have instructions about uh, the UMS operation that we will need to activate the alarm before we entrance to such spaces there is also a public address telephone there located and a flashlight so also it's very good to post also a PPE there so it will be available as you can see there is a remote control stand for deck machinery and the proper way to start first of all uh, before you start you set to the low pressure you start the pump and next uh, set to the high and then to the work uh, pressure also check the lamp test to verify that all the lamps is working so here where we have uh, talked about there is a sample point of our boiler waters from here coming the sample and from other uh, there is a cooling uh, water returned and go to the bilges from here also very good thing is to maintain this place as you can see uh, somebody paint with normal paint but here uh, normally all these kind of uh, areas which uh, contains a lot of water will need to set uh, a epoxy paint that's why I give the order to make maintenance for our oiler and to keep in good condition so also the paint will not go inside to the piping system and then to the bilge filters. This is our cooler which I have described uh, the function from the previous video. This is how it looked like and some valves to open the cooling water to supply to our device the water will be entered from here from here 
will cool down our sample and our cooled sample will be here. Some valves here for operating. All the valves have labels for correct amplification. And be careful, some of them can be changed accidentally or can be uh, posted wrong by the yard. As you can see here, there is a supply from different boilers. Let's say this is from boiler number one and this is a sample from boiler number two. And let's move on. This is a procedure. Okay, also we have uh, our material data sheets uh, posted here close to our evaporator. This is our freshwater generator. We have uh, the chemicals that we use here for the uh, evaporation for our evaporator to protect from the salts our system and also it's very very important to have that one we have our distiller pump here we have our sensor our salinity sensor here we have also a solenoid valve here in case that our salinity sensor uh, will read more than uh, the set point of ppms that we have set from this monitor here it will cut the supply to our freshwater tank and will send the water here back again to the evaporating chamber also here we have the indication of a quantity which have produced by our a freshwater generator it's a start counting by liters and then going cubic meters so let's move on this is our injector this is uh, the equipment which makes vacuum on our freshwater generator Let's move on, let's see, and why I'm stand here, let's see the flanges which is located here. Okay, uh, my opinion is to not have any of this, uh, any of this kind of protection, like here, because this is seawater, okay, uh, seawater can splash somewhere on panels, but panels also are protected, uh, from these kind of splashes, most of the panels. And also it is located down here and uh, also down below, down from this floor, there is location of uh, boiler pumps. And in case that we have such protection, everything will be, the drops will be gone down on the pump. Just imagine there is a a boiler feed water pump down below here and all the rust will be accumulated on the body of the pump that is the reason that I do not like uh, such uh, protection of, um, from undisplashed tape because also it's not visible by the eyes the condition of the flanges and uh, this kind of uh, sacrifice flanges uh, have a maximum a uh, lifetime about uh, six months after that if you have a leakages observe it here that means that uh, your flange your sacrifice flange must be replaced and the most best place to replace that one is to be stand still when you're on anchorage and also the ship is on ballast condition because as you see here if you are in ballast condition let's say this is loaded condition and you're in ballast condition the pressure uh, this height will be reduced so the pressure that you will receive here in case that your valves have a small leakage will be less and you will be more safe to work 
So my dear friends, thank you that you have stayed tuned until the end of this video. I hope you will like to check also my uh, previous videos. Don't forget to stay tuned and to subscribe and press also the bell button. Bye bye.